Hello everyone. Today we will make a bracelet with beans. Usually, such machines are used to weave such bracelets. But, today I will show you how to make such a bracelet without a machine. For the bracelet we need, 2 clams, needle, 2 pencils or writing pens, beans, fine thread, I use gold synthetic, wax cord, you can take tight beach or synthetic cord. I have a meter long cord, and the thread is one and a half meters. Fold the cord in half and fold it together with the thread. We remove about 20 to 30 centimeters upward. Then you need to fix everything, put a pencil under the threads and fix it with a clip. We repeat the same thing from below, only without the thread. Now that everything is ready, all that remains is to insert the thread into the needle. We immediately put the first bead on a string. We put a needle under the cords and tighten the thread. Place the bead between the cords. And we insert the needle into the bead, thereby threading the thread on top of the cords. We tighten the thread, at this moment it is better to hold the bead with your fingers. The thread has returned to its original position. Now string the second bead. We repeat everything. We thread a needle under the cords and tighten the thread. Place the bead between the cords. Now insert the needle into the bead so that the thread goes over the top of the cords. We tighten the thread and move the second bead up under the first. I explained the principle, now I will do the third row, I will zoom in on the pictures so that you can see it better. My nails get in the way a little, in general, you can hold the bead from below, it's more convenient. In general, if you practice. Then weaving such a bracelet takes 15 to 20 minutes. If you want to use more beans, then you will need more auxiliary threads between the beans. With this video, I wanted to show you that it is not at all necessary to have a lot of tools and devices for weaving. Sometimes a little imagination and improvised tools are enough. Now that the bracelet has become the desired length, we are putting on the last bead. When the thread has returned to its original position, you need to thread the thread again into the bead, but now from below. This will remove the thread to the wrong C. There are several ways to complete such a bracelet, I will show you the easiest way. Pull out the needle, take the thread and stepping back a little from the beads. Start twisting the thread around the cords. When you have tightly twisted the thread, put the thread back into the needle. Flip the bracelet over to the wrong side. Now, with the help of a needle, we begin to fasten the thread. 
We insert the needle from the top into the center and pull it out from the bottom, and tighten it well. We will do this a couple of times, and then we repeat the same thing, but before tightening the thread, we thread the needle and the resulting loop, thereby making a knot. Repeat the same on the other side of the bracelet. For this bracelet, I made a slip knot. I have already made such a knot in one of the videos, you can watch it, I will give a hint for this video. In my opinion, it turned out very well, be sure to try to make such a bracelet. You will succeed.